It's Let's Get Retro in association with RetroOnLim.com. I'm Bob, and let's go do some Gauntlet 2. Oh, that rhymes. Okay, so uh, this is the Atari ST version. Um, I'm emulating today, I'm afraid, for reasons I'll explain in a few minutes. Um, oh, hang on, it's got a little burst of music now. Okay, let's fire up the old uh, background music again. Uh, so, we've looked at it so far on the, if you've looked at my other videos, and you should do, and subscribe while you're at it, and send me money and things, that'd be great. Um, but if you've seen my other videos, I've looked at Gauntlet 2 on the, the home 8-bit uh, computers, uh, the Commodore 64, the Amstrad. Um, I looked at the NES version. Um, so, this is the first 16-bit computer I've looked at. Now, the Atari ST port does some nice things. For a start, it um, will let you uh, play 4-player. You think you need an interface to do it, you can't use the analog joysticks. Uh, on the ST, but um, it's nice four-player port, which is a great thing. I mean, you know, the whole thing about Gauntlet 2 and Gauntlet was that there was four, you know, there was four people playing. You could have a, a team, you know, even if you were all competing against each other, stealing the food, elf bastards. Um, but most of the home ports, obviously, the, the NES, if you have an adapter, has a, is, is four-player as well, actually, uh, now I think about it. Um, now, oh, annoying things. Uh, oh yeah, this bugged me slightly. Obviously, when they were creating that sprite, the, the tile that's sitting on it, uh, they didn't take into consideration that there'd be used, there'd be shadows there. So, occasionally, it's it's. I'm surprised they didn't fix it because otherwise it's a fairly solid port. Um, this is actually about the fourth time I've recorded this. The first time I recorded, uh, um. It was all grand, you know, did commentary and everything was good. And then when I went to look back, it had basically recorded. Uh, I don't know if you saw it, but the, the, it basically had a mouse uh, arrow on the screen in the middle that somehow hadn't shown up when I was playing the game and talking, but when I went to edit it, it was suddenly visible. Oh, sugar. Um, so uh, I had to go back to the drawing board and uh, do that. Now. I made a note, I always forget this, I made a note of what the magic button is, and it's a uh, alternate. Unfortunately, I don't have an alternate key, so I'm going to have to keep pressing keys randomly here in the background until I can get the little flash to tell me it's, uh, sorry, to tell me that that's the magic button. Uh, there's a lot of keys. No, that's not it. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Um, don't know if you heard the little noise there in the background, but it's a... Uh, Alt! Oh, hang on, yeah. Alternate. Alt. Ah, oh, very good. You learn something new every day. Um, yeah, that's the only problem with, uh, you know, uh, when you're emulating games and they want you to press a specific key that doesn't exist on PC keyboards anymore. That can always be a bit of a problem. Oh, shit, it's the it. So, um, one of the things I'm finding is that in the... in Gauntlet... The first eight levels were the same, and then or the first seven levels were the same, and after that, then they were picked randomly from a pool of levels. Uh, Gauntlet 2 seems to do something fairly similar, but it um, starts off. I think it starts being random at about level five or six. Um, the other thing is it rotates the levels, so I mean, it's great because it means you know you're getting something new every time. Even it doesn't sound like you know rotating the level would uh, make it that different, but it can make a huge difference. Ah, you bastards, I know where the key is now. Psych! There you go. Lots of score. So, uh... Oh, these sorcerers, I hate them. They're, uh, it's just very hard to, to, to see if you've hit them or not. Because they keep disappearing. They won't fight fair. A little flash to tell you you've hit them, but it's, uh... It's annoying. I'm annoyed. Yeah, these bricks seem to do something, but I've moved them around and it doesn't do anything. And I want to play Gaunt, I don't want to play Soccer Band, so I'm not going to keep moving them. But if you know what they do, uh, please let me know. That'd be nice. Extra food added for more players. See, I can read stuff on the screen. Oh, lovely. I'll have some of that.
Um, and walls. So I think there's about another three or four ports to go after this. The Amiga, um, Game Boy, um, the Commodore, or sorry, the, the PC, it's an MS-DOS port. And, uh, oh, there we go, poof, he's gone. Um, and some odd variants in that, actually, I'll have to show you as well. And then there's the, the PS1, PS2, GameCube, uh, the Midway ones, so I might have a quick look at them. Um, but, I mean, to be honest, they're, they're very close to the arcade. I mean, they're, uh, I'm pretty sure they're actually emulated, you know, so, I mean, they're, you know, it's the same as playing it in MAME, only on your PS2. Oh, it's one of these levels. Oh, lots and lots of doors. These are never much fun. Well, more moving bricks, but I've gone and put it into the wall, so it's no use. Broken now. I broke it. So if there's any games, by the way, that you want me to, to review, um, please let me know in the comments or whatever. Anything that jumps out the you think you'd like to hear me playing bad, or to hear me talking about really badly and playing even worse. Um, nope, I don't know, sorry, the audios might be a bit low, by the way, but that's a reflective... Oh, there's another reflective shot. Does that mean I'm more reflective now? A little up there. Oh, it's death. I don't want to waste my potion. Because I can probably manoeuvre someone behind me to... Lessen the damage. Yeah, that's it. That potion I ran was brown. Uh, what the hell was the deal with that? Oh, I'll do food. Maybe it's gone off. No, oh, I must find out what's in there. Even if it's death. I have, I'm armed with a potion now, so, you know, I can survive. Oh, bugger. I don't know if I needed that. More lovely drink. Oh, I'm gonna have to, this is gonna, Oh, yeah, there we go. This has opened up the level. All hell has just broken loose. Speaking of hell, I, uh... Oh, lovely food. Um, I picked up a copy of Doom 3, uh... For a Euro. Um, because I actually didn't have it, believe it or not. Um, and it works, it's not tied to Steam or anything. Not at that time I got Civilization 5. Uh, and it's the original Doom 3, not the crazy-ass, uh... Port they brought out recently, the BFG edition of it. Um... So, uh, I might do a review of that. Anyway, we're talking about Gauntlet, not Doom. That's been Gauntlet 2, Atari ST. I won't do a comparison. Uh, we'll do it in the Amiga one. See you next time.